Hi, all my YouTube viewers. It is Crystal here, and I'm here because I wanted to make a video to show you how to calculate RMSC, that's root mean squared error, from a Excel spreadsheet. Unfortunately, because uh, I'm only able to use a free screen recorder, then what I've done is I've made a screenshot of the Excel spreadsheet that I made and put it on a Word document, but it is in Excel. I have made it in Excel. And so if you do what I do in Excel, you'll be able to get the same result. What happened was I received a message on YouTube that someone was asking me how to calculate RMSC from Excel. RMSE is root mean squared error, and root mean squared error is a type of error where you calculate the difference between observed value and predicted value, and you get the square root of that. So someone asked me to do it, and so I looked into it, and I found out that Excel does not have an RMSE function, and it does not have an MSC function. So mean squared error is when you get the mean of the square of the um, difference of two um, rows of data or two, pop, two lists of data. And root mean squared error is when you take the square root of that. So this is how you do it because this is what somebody asked for the first thing that you have to do is you've got your observed value which is a column of data and then you've got your predicted value which is another column of data and then you've got your difference which is the difference between the observed column and the predicted column and since um Excel does not have a function for RMSC, then what you have to do is you have to actually create the function. So to calculate RMSC for this particular example, it's going to be equals square root brackets sum square. So that's a square of the sum of the row of the difference. And then it's going to be over count A, the row of the difference and then that's going to be 5.74456 so that's going to be um, the square root of that now let's say hypothetically you want the MSE which is the mean squared error then what you would do is you would take out the square root from that uh, formula and if you took out the square root from that formula, then that would get you the MSC. And in this instance, it would definitely be over 30. It would be between 30 and 36, I believe, with the MSC. But what we're looking at is RMSC. Um, and that's how you do it. There is no formula in Excel to create, calculate RMSC or MSE. So you have to make the formula yourself. And I've got the formula written in this um, in this screenshot. Unfortunately, I could not give you a uh, Excel. And the reason why is because I'm using a free screen recorder. The free screen recorder would not allow me to do that. Um, I was using my Xbox screen recorder, but my Xbox screen recorder uh, failed. And I'm not ready to get a new computer yet. I'll get a new computer when I absolutely have to, because obviously new computers are hard to learn. And so that's why I didn't give you actual Excel, and I just gave you a screenshot of it. But I hope that you get the general gist of it, and you can calculate RMSC and Excel with this formula that I've given you, which is equals square root brackets, sum square brackets, C2 colon C11 brackets, uh, oblique 
think that's it. Count A brackets, C2 colon C11 brackets, brackets, and that's your formula. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching it. If you like my video, like and subscribe. And I look forward to communicating with you in the next video.